Yeah, it's a bit of a strange injury. He seems to have suffered a stress reaction in his foot. He just set off to run for a ball whilst he was fielding on, uh, on Friday night uh, against Durham. And he's had a scan and we're just waiting for confirmation, but it's looking as though there might be some kind of stress-related injury in his foot. So, um, you know, we don't know the exact details, but it's not looking too good at the minute for him. And he's been very unfortunate with injuries of late. Yeah, I mean, as he said, he's hardly had an injury in his career and, you know, suddenly he's had a really serious hamstring and now, and now this. You know, we don't know how long this is going to keep him out for at the minute, but clearly it's frustrating for him and, and obviously disappointing for us as well. So it's unlikely he'll play against Worcester on, uh, on Tuesday night? No, I definitely won't, won't be playing against Worcester. So, um, you know, we should, we should know tomorrow, hopefully, with a little bit more of length of time he's going to be out. But, uh, you know, I think it's pretty much certain he won't play against Worcester. And what's the situation with Glenn Maxwell? When, when's he due to go with Australia A to India? He'll, his last game for now will be against Worcester on Tuesday. Then he, he heads off to India. Uh, he's away for two weeks. And then the plan is, um, you know, particularly with Finch's injury in mind, is that he'll come back after, after those two weeks and hopefully, um, you know, be available then for, for the Royal London and potentially um, Championship cricket um, after that. We've just got to clear that with Cricket Australia. Uh, but hopefully, you know, there won't be any problems. Kane Williamson, now, are we expecting him at the end of the season for Championship cricket? Yep, the plan is, if things go to plan, uh, Kane will be, we, sorry, will be with us around about the 24th of August, roughly around about that time.